evening everyone welcome back to another beer review uh, this evening's beer is one that's actually been released on the perfect draft system not managed to get hold of it yet it's been out of stock and I've got other beers that I want to do and finances of course but I was aware that it was in Aldi's and they were selling it so I popped in there and uh, yeah they had it in there it was a four pack and it's a bottle of Shelby from Thornbridge and it's an IPA coming in at 5% in a 330 ml bottle. Now I picked up a four pack of this, comes in a nice box uh, for £4.50, so a bargain really. And if it's at that price, it's a damn sight cheaper than the kegs. So uh, there you go, I quite like the old label on that. You get the right way around. Quite like the label on that. You've got your typical Thornbridge bottle cap there. So let's get it out of the bottle into a glass, see what we get. Quite handy as well because it gives me a chance to try it, see what I think before I even maybe order one. So I have no doubt this is going to be, as uh, JB says from Northern Southerner, they don't tend to do anything outstanding, but they t tend to be steady beers that Thornbridge do. They're sort of safe, and uh, you know what you're going to get with them. So uh, there we go, in a glass. Steady levels of carbonation rising up. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, you can sort of see it there. Um, it's sort of golden amber in colour. A finger of compact white head. There we go, trying to do the swirl and sniff and spill it everywhere. So uh, we'll give it a little bit of a spin, get the old schnauzer in there and see what we get. Um, Not overly hoppy, more malty whiff I'm getting on the nose. Literally right on the nose. Not really picking any sort of citrusy sort of flavours out of it. So I'm going to guess this is going to be quite a traditional style IPA. Like I said, apart from a malty aroma, I'm not really picking anything else up. So uh, let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, that's rather enjoyable, actually. Uh, I suppose definitely more traditional sort of style. Uh, it wasn't long ago I actually done a. I've done a couple of IPAs that have had been quite malty, and it's kind of put me off because I'm so used to sort of uh, hoppy IPAs. But this, <laughs> I've got to admit, it's rather nice. It's sort of you get malt on the nose, and that's all I was getting. You definitely get the malt in the taste. You get a hoppy taste in there, and like a sweet sort of biscuity, biscuity sort of flavour in there as well. It's 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 rather enjoyable to be honest. Yeah, that is that's really nice. It's it's not one of those big big powerful hoppy IPAs. You're getting a nice bit of hop in there, but the malt and the sweet biscuitiness really sort of complements it. You'd, you'd probably say, in all honesty, it's probably more more one of them sort of cheaper range ones. But it is very enjoyable, it's got to be said. Uh, definitely worth it, £4.50, I would say, for four bottles in, in Aldi's. Uh, I know a six litre keg's... 37 pounds 38 pounds 37 38 pounds so i wouldn't necessarily say it's well, i don't know it could be a bit harsh seems a little bit expensive personally for the perfect draft for the sort of beer it is although it's a very nice beer not heavily carbonated Average body, maybe slightly higher than average. Very drinkable, not too gassy. A nice biscuity, bready sort of sweetness in there from the malts. Nice little hoppy tang to it. See, I'm not really getting citrus 
in it, but I would say the bitterness on the back end is, is a citrusy sort of bitterness. That's, that's quietly enjoyable, that is. Nothing outstanding. Just a good steady IPA, uh, which is quite more forward for me. But very enjoyable, 5%. Not really, no, I wouldn't say you're getting 5%. That can, that can quite easily be a 4% beer for me. Uh, very enjoyable. So, uh, like I said, I picked this up from uh, Aldi's. It's available on the Perfect Draft, but it is a lot more expensive. Although I'd be quite interested to try it. If it tastes as good as that, I'd probably be quite happy, really, to be honest, to, to pay that bit extra and have it on draft. But a very enjoyable drink, so... Uh, if you're thinking of picking it up and you like sort of IPAs with a little bit of maltiness in there, you're going to enjoy that, I think. If you've had it, let me know what you think. Personally, think it's good value for what you're getting. Uh, thanks for all the comments. Feel free to comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Well, excuse me. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And uh, I will see you again on another beer review very soon. So, cheers, everyone.